hello friends, thank you for watching. I'm Josh Knox. Today we're going to look at a little thing related to data entities. Um, so I have a trial environment that I've set up here, and it's really easy to get a trial environment for yourself if you would like one. Uh, I'll put a link down here, but basically you just say, hey, you know, type dynamics trial. Don't be discouraged by this. Say sign up for a free trial. And then it'll take you to a process and get you authenticated. And if you have a business Microsoft account, it will set up a, a trial for your business Microsoft account. So that's what I have here, looking at a trial environment. Um, and I wanted to go into data management, the data management workspace. You can type data management, hop into that data management workspace. And then when I click on data entities, well, sad panda. These look like fewer data entities than I would expect. For instance, I would expect data entities for customers, and I don't see any data entities named customers. I expect data entities related to projects. I don't see any data entities related to project. Where did they go? What's happening? So here's here's your one hack. And this, this can be, right, obviously I'm dealing with the trial environment. These aren't here. Um, sometimes this can happen if, if maybe you, you've asked a a developer's creating a new data entity and you don't see the data entity. You know, why isn't it in this list? Why can't I select it as part of my data management things? You want to go over here to the framework parameters in your data management. Go to entity settings and then you want to refresh the entity list. Now that will kick off a job. Um, I'm going to pause the video here, but that kicks off a job that goes out and finds all the data and you know, put that in that list and then you can work with those data entities as part of data management. Um, so I guess before it, it finds everything. Let me create one. Uh, we'll do an export job. Let's say I was trying to use data management to export customer records. Add customers. And that's, that's the problem. I don't see a customer data entity here. Uh, then we will cut back when this loads and I'll, I'll stitch those two videos together and that'll be beautiful. Go to batch jobs. You can see entity. Right, we can see that that refresh entity list batch job has ended. And now if we go to our data management, click on data entities, we can see Da, 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 da. Lots and lots of entities, right? You can see this list is a lot larger than it was before. It's taken a while to load, it looks like, but it'll get there. Um, specifically, if I can uh, do a little filter on the entity. Come on. I said, do a little filter. It's thinking. Here we go. Begins with, let's say, show me something that has customer. You can see we have all these customer entities. Um, and now, if I try and create an export job. Close this, come to that export data project that I had started to try and find customer records. Um, put this in that enhanced view, this is a little bit nicer. I'm going to try and add my entity. And right before we didn't see customer, right now we see lots of customer type entities. The one that I probably want is called customers, right? So we've got different versions of it. Let's say customers v3. That's the latest one. Excel format. Add that. So you can see that the, the data entities are now available. And I'll do a, a whole separate video on importing and exporting within the, the data migration framework. 
All right. Well, thanks for watching. Again, I'm Josh Knox. Let me know if I can uh, help you with anything. Put something down in the comments. All right. Bye-bye.